The memory system of computer is one of the most important part of computer. CPU uses this memory system to store and read data to give output. Fundamentally, there are two types of computer memory, primary memory and secondary memory. But what is primary memory and secondary memory? What are their uses and their types? And how does CPU use these different types of memories like RAM, ROM and other storage devices? And also how these memories are different from each other? Let's see. There are two types of memory in computer, primary memory and secondary memory. Let's start with primary memory. Primary storage memory plays a very big role in computer because a computer can't start without primary memory. This type of memory also called main memory of computer. This memory is directly connected to CPU. So CPU uses this memory directly to retrieve or store data. Primary memory has very fast speed so accessing data from it's very easy. The main two type of primary memory is RAM and ROM. We will talk about this in a while. We will also talk about CPU registers and cache memory which is also a form of primary memory. Before that let's get a general idea of secondary memory. Secondary storage or external memory is not directly connected to the CPU. The computer uses its input output channel to retrieve information from secondary storage into primary memory. So it takes more time to access data from secondary memory than primary memory. The secondary storage also called non-volatile memory because it retains its data even after removing the power supply. Secondary storage devices are important because they store your data permanently until it is overwritten or deleted. In computer all of user files and data is stored in this memory. Also secondary storage devices are very cheaper than primary memory. So usually secondary storage devices have more storage capacity than primary memory. But they are significantly slower to read or write than primary memory because they are not connected to CPU directly. There are lots of different secondary storage devices like magnetic storage based hard disk floppy disk which have magnetic rotating disk, semiconductor based SSDs and flash drives which doesn't have any moving parts like hard drives and optical storage based CDs and DVDs which uses a beam of light to read or write data. Now you've got a general idea of primary storage and secondary storage and how they are different from each other. Let's get a little bit deeper to understand it better. Primary storage is also divided into two categories, RAM and ROM, which stands for random access memory and read-only memory. RAM is called random access memory because CPU can access any memory cell directly without accessing it sequentially. One of the major difference between RAM and ROM is that RAM is volatile memory, means that when you power off your computer, the data stored in RAM is erased, so it's also called temporary memory. While on other side ROM is permanent memory or non-volatile memory and stored data doesn't changes and remains same always because this is the read only memory and you can't write on this memory. ROM contains important system files that required for system to boot up and it also performs major input output tasks of computer. Different type of ROM includes Mask ROMs, these are the very first inexpensive hardwired devices that contain pre-programmed set of data or instruction. Another type of ROM is PROM, means programmable ROM. This type of ROM can be modified only once by the user and not erasable. User buys a blank PROM and write program on it. Another type of ROM is EPROM, means erasable and programmable ROM. This type of ROM is erasable by exposure of UV light. Another type is EEP ROM, means electrically erasable and programmable read-only memory. EEP ROM is programmed and erased electrically. It can be erased and reprogrammed about 10,000 times. Both erasing and programming takes about 4 to 10 milliseconds. Let's see about RAM. RAM is also of different types like SRAM and DRAM which stands for Static Random Access Memory and Dynamic Random Access Memory. The difference between these is the way they store data. Dynamic RAM means DRAM which stores bits in cells consisting of capacitor and a transistor needs to be periodically 
refreshed while SRAM contains data bits in its memory as long as power is being supplied and doesn't need to be refreshed because it doesn't contain capacitors. This makes SRAM significantly faster than DRAM. Therefore, static RAM is used to create CPU cache memory while dynamic RAM forms the largest system RAM space. In addition to the RAM, CPU uses its inbuilt cache memory to retrieve and store data at extremely fast rate. CPU cache memory stores frequently used data and instruction. This cache memory is very small in size. Also CPU has a resistor which is very smaller and faster than any other memory in computer and hold very small data in processor core. So let's summarize all of this. So CPU firstly looks for required data or instruction in its register. Then it looks in cache memory like level 1, level 2, level 3 cache memory, whichever are available. If it doesn't find any information there, then it looks in the main memory or RAM. And if it's not there, then system input output channel copy data from secondary memory into primary memory for further use. Also in starting, we have seen that computer memory are of two types, primary and secondary. Primary memory means main memory which is directly connected to CPU and have faster read and write speed than secondary memory, while secondary memory or external storage are slower than primary memory. Primary memory doesn't store user data permanently so it's called temporary memory, while secondary storage stores data permanently. Primary memory includes volatile RAM and non-volatile ROM, and secondary storage includes hard disk drives, SSDs, flash drives, CDs, and DUTs. And also we have seen different type of RAM, ROM and their uses. So this was a brief explanation of primary and secondary memory in computer and how it works.